Right. Coach, I know you don't want to make too much out of you know, a win like that, but you guys were really efficient, it seemed, on both ends of the floor. Hey, Rob, I was really a couple of specific things that we wanted to see if we could get better with tonight, rebounding the ball, you know, taking care of the ball, speed of the game at the way we want to play. And, and I do think that the way to describe it was I do think we were efficient. Uh, and obviously when you sub as much as we did, uh, sometimes it can get sloppy. But for the most part, I thought our guys really did a great job of trying to stay in the framework of what we were trying to do and really working hard at trying to take advantage of the minutes they had on the court. Uh, Coach, how important is it uh, in in Kamwa, Kamwa's uh, versatility, being able to do the dirty work down low as well as shoot the three? Well, tonight I think I think I'm right by saying this. The most points we've gotten from our front line all year. I think we had 49 of the points came from our front line, and Olivier was uh, uh, really good in practice yesterday. We had talked the day before that, and just pretty much told him exactly what we needed him to do. And, and, and uh, he came out yesterday in practice and did it. And then he carried it over today. And, and we need him. We need he and Brandon to give us that force. And so I, I thought John Fulkerson played with a, a lot of pop tonight in terms of trying to get to the, get to the boards and attack that way. But uh, we, we need our front line to, to give us the balance that you all have asked me about. And, and to get it, they've got to be productive. And if we can just continue to throw them the ball more where they can do something with it and they go to work with it, uh, I do think some good things will happen for all of us. Uh, you had 15 players score points tonight. How important is it to get a bunch of guys minutes before the schedule picks up? Well, it is. I mean, you know, games like this allow you to really continue to build your team chemistry because you, you don't, you know, the last two games we've been able to play guys. And, and what I would say to you is, uh, we, get, we have a very hard working group of guys that they care about each other. And I think any coach would tell you when you got a group like we have, you wish you could play them all the minutes they like to play. But the fact is, I thought a, a big thing tonight, you know, BJ struggled a little bit, obviously. And, but then you got, uh, and Justin struggled a little bit. And then BJ says to Jesse, man, just keep your head up. Both guys, you know, they, they're going to be really important to us moving forward. I'm not sure everybody understands that, but they really are. And we're going to need them in a big way. But that's the kind of team that we have. Guys that uh, we, we, I think we talk about being good teammates. That's a, maybe to play at a game from our point of view where you got a guy on the bench. Who they, they, and again, they all want to play, but they respect each other's work. And they know that some nights, some guys are going to have it maybe a little bit more and, and other nights they're going to have it. Mike, thanks and that. Yeah. Rick, with Memphis coming up next is the final game of the original three game deal. Is there a future in this series or what would it take for there to, there to be one? Well, I'd like to, I, I know this, Mike, you know, I've, I've said from the first day that I took this job, I think that the University of Tennessee has to have a presence in Nashville. I've said that. And I've also said that I think it's important that we play in state teams and we still believe that. But going forward, you know, certainly we'll talk about it and as we do every year. And, and uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the expansion in terms of will teams come into this league quicker than we think. But looking forward to – does that mean we're going to play more conference games? I don't know. And we, we ended up – I remember one of the last conversations <coughs> that I had with Roy Williams and even Tom Izzo about trying to get something going there. They said, we can't schedule anything if we're going to play 20 games. And so there's just so much that we don't know right now. But like I said, we know we want to, we, we, we've got to be in Nashville. That's important. We've always said we, we, we think it's important to play in-state teams. And we're, we're going to, everything's on the table. Rick, uh, over here. Dabunje, Meshack both got some earlier playing time. Did you like their aggression, especially offensively trying to attack the rim? You know what's really helped them? You know, we've normally, earlier in the year, we were using uh, our, our GAs and uh, some of our walk-ons as our scout team. A couple of weeks ago, we decided to put Quentin and uh, Shaq over there, and it's helped them tremendously because what it's made them do 
is really concentrate and have to learn four different styles or five different styles, however many games we've played since they've gone over there. And what it's done is allowed them when they now come back and, and you know, they're with us, you know, when we're going five or five against each other, the game has slowed down for them. It's helped them a lot. And uh, we think both of them are terrific drivers. They're both strong. They're going to, they're, they're going to be a huge part of our future going forward. With that said, we think, again, like we talked about uh, VJ and Justin Powell, we think at some point in time this year, if they keep improving, they're going to help us like everybody. And, and uh, it's a long way to go between now and the end of the year, but we do hope that they'll continue. And they will. They will. There's no doubt we'll continue to work the way they have and the way they've matured the last couple of weeks has been fun to watch. Rick, as you enter this tough part of the schedule, do you feel like Jemai is a guy that can help now immediately on, on defense? And, and how concerned are you with the free throws right now? You mean not shooting free throws or what are you? Uh, well, yeah, well, I haven't, I don't know who shot him exactly. Uh, that has a little bit to do with it. But, uh, you know, you want to make, uh, <coughs> you know, you want to make him certainly, but it's, it's uh, getting the right guys there. But, uh, I mean, if we think that we're a good three-point shooting team, obviously we feel like we should be a real good free throw shooting team, but it, it is a different shot in some ways. And But um, we've got to get there more, and there's no doubt about it. But uh, I think the more guys get there, the more relaxed they do. Uh, they will be there the more they can get there. Coach, the schedule is getting ready to toughen up significantly starting on Saturday with Memphis. Do you feel like – this last couple of weeks, you, you guys are, I don't know about peaking, but in a good place and, and kind of ready to take on these challenges. Well, we're going to find out, that's for certain, because as you said, starting Saturday and then on from the, basically you're starting your conference schedule right now is what's happening, you know, before. I mean, I can't imagine anyone playing a more. Like you think about our next three non league games, it's Memphis. Arizona, Texas is what's left. And two of those, I think, I, I don't know where Texas is ranked right now. I don't know, but, uh, you know, uh, all of them extremely talented, well-coached teams. And then uh, you throw in the, our league, it's, it's here, Rob. And, and the fact of the matter is we, we have to be ready. We have to be. And, uh, but it's a, uh, this is a time of year that you, everything you've done up to this point, is pretty much to get you ready for these type games. And now you hope you can go out and, and it's going to help. It's going to help us each game. I like to think we've got a chance to improve ourselves, but the opponents we play, I mean, obviously they're every bit as good as us and maybe better in some situations. But the fact is if we can play and compete at the highest level that we can, we, we feel good about whoever we're playing. Do you talk to your guys about not making too much out of this Memphis game? And also, what do you make of this Memphis team with the, the struggles they've had of late? Well, again, I think they've got young players too, you know. I mean, uh, this time of year, teams struggle. I mean, there's a lot of teams that struggle this time of year, but there's a lot of basketball left. And uh, uh, they're a talented team. And I think that Penny knows exactly how he wants to play with them. And, uh, but uh, I haven't watched a lot of uh, Memphis. Haven't watched a lot of Arizona. Haven't watched hardly any of um, of Alabama. And from there, I don't know. I know what those are our next three games. But the fact is, we we will go about our preparation and what we do. And and I think our players are certainly aware that we're going to have to get it to another level in all areas of what we're doing and and how challenging it's going to be. Rick Yarish has been the first big off the bench for most of the games this year, but tonight it was Brandon. How much of that has to do with just the way you've seen Brandon improve over well, the last think, week or so? I think Brandon's earned the minutes. I mean, you know, he's, he's slowly, but he's got, getting there. And tonight, every time we took him out of the game, it was because he would do some of the things that we tell him he can't do reaching, you know, just jogging back beside his, uh, his, uh, uh, when he's on defense, <coughs> just worry about his man as opposed to getting back, being able to, help everybody, but that's still part of the process that he's going through. But, uh, I mean, he doesn't need to be shooting shots off one foot. I mean, uh, I mean, he, he will tell you this is probably tougher than he ever thought it would be. And 
it's getting ready to get tougher, but uh, he's learned how to work harder and be more efficient. And he, uh, like I said, we need him and Olivier to really give us a physical presence in a way that they both can, because they're both extremely strong and they're capable of doing a lot. Thank you, guys. Right. Thank you, guys.